न्यूट्रिशन 1.1, 1.1, 1.2, न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इंटेक एज वेल एज यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स बाय एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन टू स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड देयर एब्सॉर्प्शन फूड प्रोवाइड्स अस न्यूट्रिशन एंड एनर्जी इट कंटेंस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन वेरिएंग अमाउंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड ऑफ आवर बॉडी अट न्यूट्रिएंट्स दीज आर द सब्सटेंसेस रिक्वायर्ड बाय आवर बॉडी फॉर इट्स ग्रोथ रिपेयर वर्क एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द बॉडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स प्रोटीन्स विटामिन्स मिनरल एटसेट्रा आवर डेली एनर्जी नीड मे वेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर ऑक्यूपेशन एज सेक्स एंड अंडर सम स्पेसिफिक कंडीशंस modes or nutrition there are several modes of nutrition on the basis of which organisms are classified as follows nutrition autotrophic heterotrophic they are able to synthesize they are not able to synthesize their own food their own food 1.2 at uh, autotrophic auto equals self trophic equals food it is a mode of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food inorganic molecules like co2 and h2o are converted into organic molecules like carbohydrates in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll for example green plants autotrophs are further categorized as iphotoautotroph those which utilize sunlight for preparing their food two chemoautotroph those which utilize chemical energy for preparing their food 1.2 be heterotrophic hetero equals different trophic equals food it is a mode of nutrition in which organisms derive their food from some other animals or plants they cannot prepare their own food for example human being heterotrophs are further categorized depending on the nature of food they consume I have was animals which eat only plants for example cow goat etc two carnivores they feed on flesh of other animals for example lion vulture etc three omnivores they feed on plants and animals both for example dog human etc i've detritivores feed on detritus or dead organic remains for example earthworm etc v sanguivorous feed on blood for example leech female mosquito etc v frugivorous feed on fruits for example parrot etc seven insectivores feed on insects for example bats etc 1.2c on the basis of mode of feeding organisms are categorized as i holozoic they ingest mostly solid but sometimes liquid food for example amoeba human etc 2 saprotrophic they absorb organic matter from dead and decaying organisms with the help of their enzymes for example bacteria fungi etc 3 parasitic they derive their nutrition from other living plants or in animals animals for example plasmodium roundworms etc nutrition can be divided into two categories on the basis of occurrence nutrition in plants nutrition 1.3 nutrition in plants plants are autotrophic in nature they prepare their own food hence they are called as producers they contain a green pigment called chlorophyll which can entrap solar energy which is then converted into chemical energy in the form of food and the process is called as photosynthesis 1.3 uh, photosynthesis i definition the synthesis of organic compounds like glucose from simple inorganic molecules like co2 and h2o by the cells of green plants having chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight is called as photosynthesis two equation of photosynthesis photosynthesis is a two step process 6co2 plus 12h2o c6o6 plus 6o2 plus 6h2o a light reaction at nadph2 and o2 are produced be dark reaction co2 and h2o are converted into glucose photosynthesis essentially requires two things 1.3b sunlight for plants sun the basis source of radiant energy plants utilize the light in the visible region of solar spectra electromagnetic spectrum which comes under the range of 390 nm 780 nm visible region consists of white light which is a mixture of seven lights of different wavelengths maximum photosynthesis occurs in red region there is minimum photosynthesis in green region because green parts of plants reflect whole of the green light 1.3c chlorophyll these are the green pigments present in chloroplast they are found in green leaves in a maximum amount as well as in other green aerial parts of plant there are six different types of chlorophyll they are chlorophyll a b c d e and bacteria chlorophyll amongst them chlorophyll r and chlorophyll b are the most commonly occurring chlorophylls besides chlorophyll certain other pigments are also present in plants like i carotenes orange in color for example carrot two xanthophylls orange yellow in color for example maize three phycobilins different color like red violet for example blue green algae brown algae etc 1.3 the raw materials of photosynthesis i carbon dioxide terrestrial plants obtain carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through the small openings present on leaves called as stomata stomata are the small pores present on the surface of leaves they help in exchange of gases and water stomata opening is guarded by the presence of guard cells kidney shaped aquatic plants obtain co2 dissolved in water through their general body surface so they perform more photosynthesis than terrestrial plants to water plants absorb water from the soil by the process of osmosis this water is transported to leaves by a special type of tissue called as xylem plants utilize carbon dioxide during photosynthesis the intensity of light at which amount of co2 used during photosynthesis becomes equal to the amount of co2 released during respiration by plants in called as compensation point
compensation point occurs at low light intensity that is during morning and during evening hours. 1.3 E site photosynthesis. Site of photosynthesis is different in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, photosynthesis occurs in lamella chromatophores in eukaryotes, photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast. Exception, fungi, it lacks chlorophyll so no photosynthesis occurs. Here. In higher plants chloroplast in the main site of photosynthesis. Chloroplast is also called as green plastid. Plastid was first observed by Haeckel. Plastids are of three different types on the basis of pigments present in them. Iluchoplast, white in color, found in underground parts, lacks and colored pigment, helps in storage of protein aleroplast, oil, ileoplast, starch, amyloplast. 2. Chloroplast, color other than green found in aerial parts on the plants. 3. Chloroplast, contain green pigment, called as chlorophyll. Chloroplast was discovered by Schimper. Number of chloroplasts is variable in different species of plants in lower plants like algae they are 1 or 2 number. In higher plants their number varies from 40 minus 100 per palisade cell or more. Chloroplast also have variable shapes, for example cut shaped, ribbon shaped etc. in algae while it is discoidal in higher plants. Dash. A typical structure of chloroplast is a double membranous structure having two parts. Igrana. It is a lamella system consisting of stacks of granum lamella each bounded by a membranous box called as thylakoid. They are 40 to 60 per cell. Number of thylakoids per granar is 50 or more chlorophyll molecules are found inside the thylakoid membrane where they trap solar energy in the form of small energy packets called photon or quanta. Granar are interconnected to each other by a channel called as stromal lamellae or Fred's channel. 2. Stroma. It is a non-pigmented proteinaceous matrix in which grana remain embedded. It contains enzymes for dark reaction. 1.3F mechanism of photosynthesis, highlight reaction. It is also called as photochemical process. It was discovered by Robert Hill therefore it is also called as Hill's reaction. Site. Grana of chloroplast. Raw materials. Light and water. Regulation. This process is regulated by chlorophyll molecules. It consists of three steps. A photo excitation of chlorophyll molecule. During this process chlorophyll molecule receives sunlight in the form of small energy bundles called as photons and become excited to higher energy level. B photolysis. It is also called as photoxidation of water. This takes place in presence of Mn plus 2 and Cl ions. O2 is liberated as byproduct and H plus ions are used for reduction of NAD. 2 NAD plus 4 H plus 2 NAD 2. C photophosphorylation. During this process ATP are produced. It takes place in quantasums. Mg plus 2 ions and inorganic phosphate is required to convert ADP ATP, ADP plus IP ATP. 1.4 1.4 2 dark reaction. It is also called as thermochemical reaction. It was discovered by Melvin Coving and Benson therefore it is also called as Coving cycle site equals stromer of chloroplast. Raw materials. They require CO2, NADPH2, ATP and enzymes. Regulated by light reaction and enzymes. It involves three basic steps. A. Carboxylation. In this step CO2 is captured by CO2 acceptors like RUBP, C3 plants pet C4 plants with the help of carboxylase enzyme that is Rubisco and Pepco respectively. B. Synthesis, this phase cap through CO2 is assimilated into glucose N. The presence of phosphatase and isomerase enzymes and RUBP is regenerated back. C. Regeneration of RUBP. Factors affecting photosynthesis. A light. 1.4 1.4 1.4 B. Temperature. Optimum range equals 250 C to 300 C. It ranges from 100 to 400 C. In some forms like algae of hot spring. C. Carbon dioxide. 600 to 700. Is normal. Normally plants utilize sunlight but marine algae can perform photosynthesis even in the moonlight. Plants can also perform photosynthesis in the artificial lights. Highest rate of photosynthesis. Red light. Minimum photosynthesis. Green light. Very high light intensity can cause reduction in the rate of photosynthesis by causing high decrease in transpiration rate. 2. Denaturation of chlorophyll molecule. It is the first limiting factor 0.030.1% is present in the atmosphere concentration of CO2 rate of photosynthesis. Above 0.9%. Between 0.1 to 0.9%. It is constant and it is called as saturation point. The oxygen. O2 acts as competitive inhibitor of CO2. Over concentration of O2 stops photosynthesis. 1.4. 1.5. E chlorophyll. Chlorophyll content is directly proportional to rate of photosynthesis. No photosynthesis occurs in initiated cells. In variegated leaves it occurs only at places where chlorophyll is present. Significance of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a boon to the nature and to the human beings. It has following significance. High production of food material. Two atmospheric control and purification of air. Daily practice problems 1. Objective question. 1. The raw materials for photosynthesis are a. CO2 and O21 B sunlight and CO2 C water and chlorophyll D CO2 and water. 2. Most of the photosynthesis, 80% which takes place on this earth is carried out by A. Green plants on land B. Algae present in fresh water. C. Algae found in ocean D. Algae present in ocean and fresh water sources. 
3. Which of the following AH has no digestive enzyme? A. Saliva B. Bile C. Gastric juice D. Intestinal juice. 4. Plants are green in color because A. They absorb green light only B. They reflect green light. C. They absorb green light but reflect all other lights above are correct. 5. Full name of NADP is A. Nicotinamide dinucleotide phosphate. Adenine dinucleotide phosphate. C. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. Above. D. None of the. B. Nicotine D. None of the. 6. NM. 7. 8. Wavelength of visible light is. A. 200 to 400 NM. B. 400 to 700 NM. C. 700 to 900. D. 100 to 200 NM. The presence of sugar in onion leaves can be tested with. A. Iodine B. Copper sulfate solution. C. Lime water D. Benedict solution. Chemical reaction takes place during dark reaction of photosynthesis is A. Photolysis B. Hydrolysis. C. Carbon dioxide is bonded with IUBP D. Nitrogen. Fixation. 9. Dark reaction and light reaction of photosynthesis takes place in A. Stromer and granar of chloroplast respectively B. Granar and stromer of chloroplast respectively C. Granar only D. Stromer only 10. CO2 accepted during dark reaction of photosynthesis is A. Rub B. Pepsi NADF D. ATP Subjective questions Very short answer type questions 1. Define photosynthesis 2. Name the different modes of nutrition and classify them with one example of each 3. Name the site of light and dark reaction of photosynthesis Long answer type questions. 4. Explain how water and temperature influence the rate of photosynthesis. 5. Describe the structure and role of chloroplast along with a well-labeled diagram. 6. 8. Describe the mechanism of photosynthesis. 7. Explain the process of photosynthesis in plants. List four factors which influence this process and describe how each of them affects the rate of the photosynthesis. Delhi, 2005. Explain the following aspects of photosynthesis in plants. I. The role of chlorophyll. 2. Dark reaction. 3. Calvin Bainson cycle. Nutrition. 2.1 Nutrition in animals. Animals have highly evolved digestive mechanism that includes 2 basic components. Alimentary canal, long, hollow, tubular structure consisting of various organs for digestion. Digestive glands, they secrete enzymes hormones which help in digestion. Digestion in animals consists of following steps. Ingestion, the process of intake of food. Digestion, it is the breakdown of large and complex molecules into simpler, smaller, Absorption intestinal wall to blood. Assimilation body cells. Ingestion expelled out. Colon. Colon. And soluble forms. Taking out of the digested food through. In this process absorbed food intaken by. The process by which undigested matter is. Digestive system is regulated by various hormones secreted by. Some endocrine glands. Alimentary canal was first of all developed in the phylum. Plutty elements but only mouth was present in them. Coiled and well-developed alimentary canal was developed in annelidotyl mammals. 2.2.2. Nutrition in lower animals, a nutrition in amoeba. It is a unicellular organism living in water. Mode of nutrition of holozoic. The process of obtaining food is the phagocytosis cell eating steps involved in digestion of amoeba are. I ingestion. Since it is unicellular so a single cell is responsible for carrying out all the vital activities. Food is ingested with the help of pseudopodia. Animal engulfs the food particle lying near it by forming pseudopodia around it and forming a food vacuole while is considered at its temporary stomach. 2. Digestion. The enzymes from surrounding cytoplasm enter the food vacuole and break down the food into smaller and soluble forms. 3. Absorption. The digested food is now absorbed by cytoplasm by simple diffusion and then the food vacuole disappear. 5. Assimilation. The food absorbed in amoeba is used to obtain energy from respiration, for its growth and reproduction. V. Digestion. Undigested food is thrown out of the cell. 2.2 B. Nutrition is grasshopper. It has a well-developed digestive system having an alimentary canal and digestive glands. The various organs of digestive system of grasshopper are Mouth, oesophagus, crop, gizzard, stomach, ileum, colon, rectum. Glands associated with it are I. Salivary glands to hepatic kika. Digestive system of a grasshopper can be divided into three parts. I. Fogut, two midget, three hingeut. Mouth to gizzard. Gizzard to ileum, actual stomach, stomach to anus. The process involves eye ingestion. It feeds on green leaves so it takes food through its mouth with the help of its forelegs and mouth parts. 2. Digestion. A. It starts from the mouth. B. A pair of salivary glands secretes saliva and release it into the mouth through the salivary duct. C. Saliva mixed with food and lubricates and soften the food. D. Digestion of starch begins here. E. This slightly digested food enters into the crop through a food pipe. That is esophagus. F. Crop stores the food temporarily. G. Now the food moves to gizzard. Here it is finally crushed and masticated and then moves to stomach. 2.3. Nutrition in humans. Humans have highly evolved and complicated digestive system consisting of an alimentary canal and different types of digestive glands. Alimentary canal consists of following organs. 
H in stomach hepatic keka release its secretions in the form of digestive enzymes. Thus the food is then completely digested at this site 3 absorption. The digested food moves to small intestine, ileum, and absorbed through its walls. Ive, assimilation. Nutrients are assimilated whenever required by the cells for the fulfillment of the growth, energy and repair of the body. V digestion. Undigested food is then passed through hinge where H2O absorbed and expelled out through anus in the form of elongated dry fecal pellets. The excretory organ of the grasshopper is malfigent to gills present at the junction of hinge and midget. 2.3. A mouth. It is small slit through which food is ingested. 2.3. B buccal cavity. Mouth opens into a chamber called as buccal cavity. Roof of buccal cavity is called hard palate. At the floor of this cavity thick muscular structure is present called tongue. It helps in chewing, swallowing, testing and speaking. Tongue has various types of papilla having taste buds. Jaws present in buccal cavity are provided with four different types of teeth. Eye incisors. For cutting two canines. For tearing. Three premolars. For grinding. Eye molars. For grinding. Dental formula of humans. Amil teeth. These are temporary. Arise at 6 to 11 month age. 20 in. Number. B permanent teeth arise at 6 to 12 years, 32 in number. Three pairs of salivary glands are found in mouth which release their secretions into the buccal cavity. 2.3 C esophagus. Also called as food pie, it leads the food from mouth to stomach. Esophagus has highly muscular walls, no digestion occurs here. 2.3 B stomach. It is a J-shaped bag present on left side of abdomen. It contains several branched and butular glands present on the inner surface of its wall, which secret gastric juice. 23 E small intestine. It is a coiled and narrow tube having three regions, duodenum, jejunum, ileum. On the inner wall of small intestine numerous finger-like projections are found which are called as villi. They increase the surface area of absorption. Duodenum is proximal part of small intestine receives secretion from liver and pancreas. 2.3 F large intestine. Small intestine opens into large intestine from W here the undigested. Food material is passed to anus through rectum. It is divided into three parts. I come to colon 3 rectum 2.3 G digestive glands. I salivary glands. Three pairs of salivary glands are found in mouth cavity. It helps in chemical digestion. They secret at enzyme called salivary amylase or tyolin. It helps in digestion of starch. Two gastric glands. Present in stomach. They secret hydrochloric acid, protein digesting enzymes and mucus. Three liver. It is the largest gland. Secrets bile into the small intestine. Bile contains bile juice and bile pigments. Bile is alkaline in nature and it is temporarily stored in gallbladder and helps in digestion of fats. It also helps in absorption fats. Ive, pancreas. It lies parallel to and below the stomach. It secrets pancreatic juice into small intestine. Pancreatic juice contains tyrosine and pancreatic amylase. Besides these two enzymes, pancreas secretes two hormones also that is colon insulin and glucagons, so it has both exocrine as well as endocrine functions. Both bile and pancreatic juice are released into the duodenum by a common duct. Daily practice problems 2. Objective questions. 1. Compensation point refers to the intensity of light at which A rate of respiration equals rate of photosynthesis B rate of respiration rate of photosynthesis c rate of respiration rate of photosynthesis d none of the above is correct 2 among the following which is a parasitic plant a plasmodium b cuscuta c amoeba d rhizobium 3 the nutrition in mucor is a parasitic b autotrophic c saprophytic d holozoic 4 in amoeba the digestion is intracellular because a amoeba is unicellular b amoeba is multicellular c amoeba is found is pond d amoeba is microscopic animal 5 digestion of food in human starts from a. Duodenum B. Small intestine C. Mouth D. Large intestine 6. The digestion of food is completed in the A. Ilium B. Duodenum C. Stomach D. Large intestine 7. 8. The most important function of villi in the small intestine is A. To provide strength to the intestine B. To provide space for capillaries and lacteals C. To provide increased surface area for absorption of digested food D. To provide habitat for bacteria Which of the following sections does not contain enzymes? A. Bile B. Pancreatic juice C. Intestinal juice D. Saliva. 9. Chewing is an example of A. Chemical digestion B. Mechanical digestion C. Involuntary action. 10. Dehydrolysis. The final product of digestion of carbohydrates and proteins are A. Glycerol and amino acid respectively B. Glucose and amino acids respectively C. Amino acids and glycerol respectively D. Amino acids and glucose respectively Subjective questions. Very short answer type questions. 1. Name the different steps involved in digestive process 2. Name the excretory organ of grasshopper 3. Give the importance of bile during digestion process, also right From where it is secreted, what is its site of action? Long answer type questions 4. Draw a well-labeled diagram of human alimentary canal, mention the functions of liver in digestion 5. Describe the digestive system of grasshopper with the help of a well-labeled diagram 6. Explain how does the major nutrients in chapati eaten by you in your food get digested and finally absorbed by the alimentary canal? Nutrition 3.1 Intestinal Glands They secrete intestinal juice and mucus. 
3.1 A digestive system. This system involves following processes. Eye ingestion. Intake of food is done through mouth. Food is then chewed and masticated and sent to esophagus through pharynx by swallowing. 2. Digestion. Saliva secreted in buccal cavity starts digestion of starch into maltose. This partly digested food is then passed to stomach by esophagus through peristaltic movement. Food is churned in stomach for about 3 hours and broken down into smaller pieces. Due to presence of hydrochloric acid, medium of stomach becomes acidic. In acidic medium protein digestive enzyme pepsin breaks down proteins into peptones. Gastric lipase is also secreted here which partially breaks down lipids. Secretion of gastric juice is stimulated by the sight, smell or thought of food. Now the partly digested food moves to small intestine that is in the duodenum. Duodenum receives the secretion from liver and pancreas through a common duct they are bile and pancreatic juice, and alkaline in nature. So the digestion and emulsification of fats occurs at this place. Here in the duodenum fats are emulsified by bile, remaining proteins are digested by trypsin and starch by pancreatic amylase. Note, duodenal wall secretes bicarbonate ions which make the medium alkaline. This partially digested food now enters in the ileum where intestinal juice that is succus entericus is secreted. At this place digestion is completed. Carbohydrates, glucose, proteins, amino acids, fats, fatty acids, and glycerol. 3. Absorption. After digestion, molecules are broken down into simpler water soluble forms. Now they are to be utilized. So they pass through the wall of small intestine, which contains blood capillaries and enters into the blood. For absorption of fat, lymph capillaries are present called as lacteals. Note, wall of small intestine have tiny finger-like projections called villi. They increase the surface area for absorption. Ive, assimilation. The process of utilizations of food is called assimilating. The nutrients dissolved in blood are carried to all parts of the body where they are utilized. A for building up and replacement of cells. B for obtaining energy. This energy is released by the process of oxidation during respiration. V digestion. The undigested food is then collected in large intestine where water is absorbed and remaining waste is expelled out or digested through anus. Daily practice problems 3. Objective questions. 1. In amoeba the digestion of food is a. Extracellular B. Intracellular C. Intercellular D. None of the above. 2. Through mastication of food is essential because A. Mastication of food makes the teeth stronger. B. It makes the process of swallowing the food easier. C. By this process bigger pieces of food are broken down into smaller pieces. D. Bigger pieces of food are broken down into smaller pieces and saliva is properly mixed with it. 3. The wave of contractions that pushes the food through the alimentary canal is called A. Peritoneum B. Peristalsis C. Cyclosis D. Polarization. 4. In amoeba absorption of the digested nutrients occurs in A. Contractile vacuole B. Plasma membrane C. Cytoplasm D. Pseudopodia. 5. Coiled and well-developed alimentary canal first developed in A. Protozoans B. Mammals C. Arthropods D. Peripherans. 6. Digestion of starch starts from A. Stomach B. Intestine C. Esophagus D. Mouth. 7. The path taken by food material after ingestion is represented by 8. A. Mouth pharynx oesophagus stomach. B. Mouth pharynx oesophagus small intestine C. Mouth oesophagus stomach pharynx D. Oesophagus mouth pharynx stomach Teeth involved in cutting of food material are called A. Canines B. Incisors premolars 9. Tyolin enzyme is secreted by A. Salivary glands B. Mouth Stomach 10. Villi are present on B. Molars D. C. Oesophagus D. A. Stomach B. Large intestine C. Small intestine D. Mouth Subjective questions Very short answer type question 1. What is the product formed during C3 cycle of dark reaction of photosynthesis? 2. Where does the absorption of food takes place? 3. Name 5 different types of glands involved in human digestive system. Long answer type questions. 4. Explain various digestive glands present in man along with their secretions and functions. 5. Explain dark reaction of photosynthesis. 6. What is photophosphorylation? Explain cyclic and monocyclic. Photophosphorylation in brief. 7. What are the various factors that affect photosynthesis? Explain each of them in brief. 8. I explain why the rate of photosynthesis in plants is low both at lower and higher temperatures. 2. Is green light most or least useful in photosynthesis and why? 3. Describe an activity to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis in plants. Cubsay, 2005. 9. What is the function of gizzard in grasshopper? Draw a label diagram showing the digestive system of grasshopper. Cubsay, 2005. 10. What is the importance of the following process occurring during photosynthesis in plants? I. Emission of electrons from chlorophyll to photolysis of water cubs 2004. 11. What is meant by utilization of food? Name the digestive gland of grasshopper. Answers. Daily practice problem 1. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ands. D, D, B, B, C, B, D, C, A, A. Daily practice problems 2. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ands. A, B, C, A, C, A, C, A, B, B. Daily practice problems 3. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ands. B, D, B, A, C, D, A, B, A, C. Transportation. 4.1. Introduction. 
All living bodies need nutrients and oxygen in every cell of its various tissues to sustain life. The transport of different material and gases is essential both in plants and animals. Unicellular organisms for example amoeba and paramecium do not require the transport of any material. These are in direct contact with their surroundings from where they obtain these nutrients. These substances are distributed in the cytoplasm due to the streaming movements of cytoplasm called as cyclosis. They exchange gases from the external environment directly by diffusion due to the difference in the concentration in and outside their body. In higher organisms both plants and animals, digested food, oxygen, hormones, waste nitrogenous substances substances etc are to be carried from one place to the other, so transportation of materials is essential, it is done through circulatory system. 4.1 A Transportation in Higher Plants the higher plants have specialized system for the transportation of materials inside the body. The transportation of material is carried out by means of vascular tissues of the plants. The vascular tissues act as pipes or vessels. Through these vessels or pipes, water, minerals, salts, food etc. are transported in the plant body. In plants the medium of transportation is water. Water and food flows through the xylem. Tracheids and vessels are the constituents of xylem and phloem. Sieve tubes and companion cells for various metabolic activities. Tracheids and vessels are non-living parts of xylem while sieve tubes and companion cells from the living parts of phloem, the terrestrial land. Plants absorb water and mineral salts through their roots. The area of young roots where most of the absorption takes place is the root hair zone. Root hair are the extensions of the epidermal cells. Root hair are delicate and do not live more than two days. The root hair have sticky walls by which they adhere tightly to soil particles. The root hair absorb water from soil by the process of osmosis but take in mineral salts by diffusion. The water and mineral salts are transported from the roots to the leaves, flowers and other parts of the plant. The upward movement of cell sap water and minerals through the xylem is called ascent of sap. 4.1b Translocation Phloem translocates the manufactured food sugar or starch from the leaves to the leaves to the different parts of the plant including the roots. 4.1c Transpiration Most of the water absorbed is lost through the aerial parts of the plant into air by a process called transpiration. 2% of total water absorbed is used up in various metabolic activities in the plant body. Transpiration is the loss of water from the living tissues of the aerial parts of the plant in the form of water vapors. There are three types of transpiration. I cuticular transpiration through cuticle to lenticular transpiration through lenticels 3 stomatal transpiration through stomata. Importance of transpiration a. It controls the rate of absorption of water from the soil. B. It is responsible for ascent of sap. C. It regulates the temperature of the plant. D. Mostly water absorbed by roots is lost by transpiration. Without serving any purpose. The energy spent by the plants in transpiration is wasted. So, transpiration is a necessary evil. 4.1 D. Differences in function of xylem and phloem. Xylem phloem. I functional xylem cells are dead I functional. Phloem cells are alive. 2. It carries mineral salts, water and 2. An organic solution of sugars and amino acids is traces of organic molecules translocated. 3. The movement is only upward. 3. The movement can be upward or downward. 4.2. Transpiration cohension theory. The main loss of water is through stomatal transpiration. Tug pressure in the mesophyll cells of the leaf forces water outwards through the cell wall. Water evaporates from the surface of the cells into the air spaces of the spongy tissues and then passes into the outer atmosphere through the pause or stomata. The cell sap of mesophyll cells becomes concentrated by losing water and causes a drop in tug pressure. As a result water is sucked from adjoining mesophyll cells and ultimately from vascular tissues. This tension is transmitted all the way down to the unbroken column of water through the stem to the absorbing parts of the root. The molecules of the water show cohesion mutual attraction and molecules of water and vessel wall show adhesion affinity for water. Due to these adhesive and cohesive forces. Water column does not break but pulled upward by the force called as transpiration pull. The whole process can be compared with a person transpiration pull pulling a bucket full of water forces on water column from a well with a rope column of water due to cohesion. Transportation in humans. In humans there is a circulatory system that uses blood or lymph as carries of materials fluid exchange medium and the heart as the pumping organ to help in circulation. Circulatory system consists of blood vascular system blood as carrier and lymphatic system lymph. 4.3 As carrier. 4.3 A blood vascular system. The higher multicellular animals with higher metabolic rates possess a well-developed blood vascular system. This system helps in the quicker supply of nutrients and oxygen to the body tissues and also in the rapid disposal of toxic waste material and carbon dioxide. The blood acts as the circulatory fluid. Blood vascular system consists of blood, blood vessels and heart. Eye blood. The blood is a specialized kind of living connective tissue which is made to circulate by the muscular pumping organ called as the heart. In adult human beings there is 5.5 to 6 liter of blood. The blood consists of fluid part, the plasma, the red blood corpuscles, RBSs, white blood corpuscles, WBCs and blood platelets are present in the plasma. The formation of blood is called hemipieces. 2. Plasma. The plasma consists of water 90% and above inorganic substances. In the plasma RBCs, WBCs and blood platelets float. Inorganic salts, 0.9% are also present. The organic substances are glucose, amino acids, proteins, hormones, digested and waste excretory products. The blood proteins, 7% are fibrinogen, albumin, globulin and prothrombin. Note, serum is plasma from which fibrinogen is removed. A red blood corpuscles, RBCs or erythrocytes. The number of RBCs is about 5.5 million in 1 milliliter of blood. The total number of RBC is about 30 billion. Each RBC is a biconcave disc-like structure devoid of nucleus. The mammalian erythrocytes do not possess nuclei, mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. The erythrocytes contain 
Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin consists of globin protein and F2 plus porphyrin compels. Heme 100 milliliters of blood contains 15 milligrams of hemoglobin if the amount of hemoglobin in blood is less. The person suffers from anemia. The hemoglobin carries oxygen to the different cells of the body and brings carbon dioxide from the cells. The lifespan of RBC is 120 days. B white blood corpuscles, WBCs or leukocytes. The number of Leukocytes is comparatively fever that is 1 ml of blood contains 5,000 to 10,000 leukocytes in humans. The total number of WBCs is about 75 millions. The number of leukocytes increases in infections like pneumonia, blood cancer, leukemia, etc. These are large in size and contain nucleus. White blood corpuscles are of two types. Granulocytes. In granulocytes the cytoplasm contains granules and the nucleus is multiliab. Bosophils, eosinophils and neutrophils are three different types of granulocytes. Eosinophils and neutrophils are phagocytic, engulf and kill harmful microbes in nature and this process is called as phagocytosis. The function of basophils is to release histamine and heparin. Agranulocytes. Monocytes and lymphocytes are two different types of agrolocytes. Lymphocytes secrete antibodies which destroy microbes. The monocytes are phagocytic in nature. C blood platelets. These are small and without nuclei. Their number varies from 0.15 to 0.45 million in 1 milliliter of blood. Their normal lifespan is 1 week. These help in blood clotting at the site of injury by liberating thromboplastin. 4.3b functions of blood. Blood performs the following functions. Transpiration of nutrients. The digested and absorbed nutrients like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids are first transported to the liver and then to all the tissues for their storage, oxidation and synthesis of new substance. Transportation of respiratory gases. The respiratory gases oxygen, carbon dioxide are transported by the blood. Oxygen is transported from the respiratory surface lung, skin and buccal cavity to the tissues and carbon dioxide from the tissues is taken to the respiratory organ for its removal. Transportation of excretory products. Different wastes from the different parts of the body are collected by the blood and then taken to the organs kidneys, lungs, skin and intestine from where they are exerted. Transportation of hormones. Hormones are produced by endocrine glands. These hormones have target organs PLAs to act. These are carried by the plasma of blood and bring about the coordination in the working of the body. Maintenance of pH. The plasma proteins act as buffer system and maintains required pH of the body tissues. Regulation of body temperature. The blood flows in all the parts of body, so it equalizes the body temperature. It carries heat from one place to another place in the body. Transportation of metabolic intermediates. The blood carries metabolic intermediates from one tissue to another for further metabolism. In the muscle cells due to anaerobic respiration lactic acid is produced. This lactic acid is carried to the liver for further oxidation. Water balance. The blood maintains water balance to constant level by distributing it uniformly in the body. Protection from diseases. The WBCs, eosinophils, neutrophils, monocytes, engulf the bacteria and other disease-causing organisms by phagocytosis. The lymphocytes produce antibodies to neutralize the action of toxins produced by pathogens. Clotting of blood. Blood forms a clot at the site of injury and thus prevents the further loss of blood. Support. Blood flows under pressure in arteries. Due to this tissues become stiff as in the case of erection of nipples, clitoris and penis. 4.3c blood clotting. At the site of injury of the blood vessels, the platelets induce blood coagulation through the release of thromboplastin, thrombokinase. Thromboplastin changes prothrombin of blood plasma into thrombin. Thrombin converts soluble protein fibrinogen to insoluble fibrin. Fibrin forms a network which entangles RBCs and blood platelets to form blood or clot over the inured area. Blood clotting is usually completed within 2-3 minutes. Injured tissue plus blood platelets thromboplastin released. Prothrombin fibrinogen, soluble. Fibrin plus red blood corpuscles. Thrombin fibrin. Insoluble. 4.3D blood groups. Landstainer discovered that blood of different individuals did not match each other but there were biochemical differences. He discovered antigens A and B and blood groups ABO systems. Antigen, agglutinogen is a glycoprotein present on RBCs. For each antigen there is a corresponding antibody. Thus there are two antibodies, agglutinin, R and B occurring in the blood plasma. There are four types of blood groups depending on the presence or absence of these antigens. Table, blood group, antigen and antibody. Clot of blood. Body group. Antigen present on RBCs. Antibody in plasma. AAB. BBA. Ab ab none. O non a b. Blood is a life-saving fluid. It is often needed during accident and operation. The transfusion of blood is only done when blood group is known. These groups are a, b, ab and o. Blood of o group is a universal donor that is it and donate blood to any group a, ab, b and o. But it can receive blood from o blood group. A b group is universal recipient receiver. It can receive blood from any group a, b, ab, o. But it can donate to ab group only. 4.3 e blood transfusion. The transfusion of blood from a healthy person to a patient suffering from blood loss due to injury or surgical operation is called a blood transfusion. For this all major hospitals have blood banks where blood is collected from voluntary and professional donors. Before preservation the blood is tested for its blood group and RH factor. Though theoretically a patient may be able to receive blood of two or more types, it is always advisable to have the donor blood of the same group as that of the recipient. Rather the blood of donor is always cross-matched before transfusion to exclude any change of incompatibility. When blood from a donor is added is added to blood of the recipient. It is necessary to avoid bringing together corresponding antigen and antibody. This causes clumping of RBC. Thus antigen A in RBCs of group A individuals reacts with antibodies of plasma of group B individuals. This phenomenon is called agglutination. Table human blood groups and transfusion. O. XXX. Compatible. 
X incompatible. RH factor in blood can be genetically determined. Most of the people. Blood group of donor. Blood group of recipient. O. A B I B. Capital A. X. X. B. Ab. X X. More than 85% are RH positive RH plus while a few are RH negative RH. Both people lead normal life. If an RH woman marries with an RH plus man then its pregnancy is normal but in second pregnancy the mother with RH blood may lose the baby due to incompatibility of RH factor. By new techniques and procedures now the child can be saved. Daily practice problems 4. Objective questions 1. Osmosis is the movement of A. Salute particles from higher concentration to lower concentration B. Solvent particles from higher water potential to lower water potential through a semi-permeable membrane. See salute particles from higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. The solvent particles from lower water potential to higher water potential. 2. The ultimate cause for the movement of water against the gravity in a tree is A. Osmosis B. Transpiration C. Imbibe T. Owns D. Photosynthesis 3. Which one of the following is connected with transport of water in plants? A. Phloem B. Xylem C. Epidermis D. Cambium 4. Which of the following contributes most to transport of water from the ground to the leaves of a tall tree? A. Breakdown of ATP B. Capillary rise of water is xylem. C. Cohesion of water and transpiration pull the root pressure. 5. The process of transpiration in plants helps in A. Opening of stomata B. Absorption of CO2 from Atmosphere C. Upward conduction of water and minerals O2 from atmosphere 6. Opening and closing of stomata is due to A. Pressure of gases inside the leaves D. Absorption of B. Changes of turga Pressure in guard cells C. Effect of hormones D. Their genetic constitution 7. The carbohydrates synthesized in the leaves are transported through sieve tubes most commonly in the form of A. Glucose B. Starch C. Sucrose D. Cellulose 8. In a closed circulatory system, blood is completely enclosed within A. Sinuses B. Vessels C. Heart D. Skeleton 9. An artery is a vessel that carries blood A. With high concentration of oxygen Concentration of CO2 B. With high C. Away from the heart D. Both A and C 10. Values are found in veins to check the backflow of blood flowing under a. Low pressure. B. High pressure. C. No pressure. D. Atmospheric pressure. Subjective questions. Fill in the blanks. I. Is the flow of water molecules from the region of higher water potential to the region of lower water potential through a semipermeable membrane. 2. The osmotic entry of water into a cell is called. 3. Other name for blood platelets is. I. The process of production of erythrocytes is known as V. Heart is protected by a covering known as. Very short answer type questions. 1. 2. 3. Explain the importance of transportation. Distinguish between diffusion and osmosis. How does blood clot? Long answer type questions. 4. Explain the composition of blood. Also give functions of all its components. 5. 6. 7. Explain various components of xylem and phloem. Comment upon. I translocation in plants to xylem 3 phloem. I. Excretion in plants. What is clotting of blood? Write a flowchart showing major events. Taking place in clotting of blood. Cubse, Delhi 2005. 8. Name the constituents of blood. Why are white blood corpuscles called? Soldiers of the body? 9. 8. Kaba. Kabse, Delhi 2005. Draw a diagram of human heart and label the following on. Kabse, Delhi 2005. I. Aorta 2 pulmonary trunk 3 superior vena. I. Coronary arteries. 10. Kabse, 2005. I list any 4 blood groups found in human beings. B. People of which blood group can? I donate blood to all groups to receive blood from all groups. 11. List two vital functions of the human kidney. Draw a labeled diagram of an artificial kidney. Kabse, 2005. Transportation. 5.1 Structure of heart. Heart is a hollow muscular organ that lies obliquely in the thoracic region in a cavity between the two lungs that is pericardial cavity. It is lined by two layers outer and inner pericardial membranes. These are filled with a fluid called pericardial fluid. It protects the heart from shock and injury. Heart is made up of four chambers. Upper two chambers are auricles and the lower two chambers are ventricles. Auricles are the receiving chambers and ventricles are the pumping chambers. Walls of ventricles are thicker as they have to pump the blood. Partition between right and left auricle is called interauricular septum and between right and left ventricles is interventricular septum. Four pulmonary veins enter into left auricle. Two from each lung bring oxygenated blood. There is one auricular ventricular aperture with a bicuspid or mitral valve in left auricles which opens. 5.1 Into left ventricle. Left ventricle has aortic valve having three semilunar cusps for Large artery that is dorsal aorta which takes the oxygenated blood to all body parts. Right auricle has openings for superior vena cover that brings the oxygenated blood from head, neck and upper limbs. Inferior vena cover receives the oxygenated blood from rest of the body and lower limbs. Blood enters into right ventricle through tricuspid valve, a coronary sinus that drains venous blood from heart muscles. Right ventricle has pulmonary valve having three semilunar cusps for pulmonary artery carrying the oxygenated blood to lungs. 
the series of events which occur during one heartbeat is called as cardiac cycle. Note, during fortal condition a flap valve called foramen ovale is present at interauricular septum having a depression called as fossa ovalis. If it remains after birth it results a hole in the heart. A blood pressure. It is the pressure of the flow of blood in the aorta and its main arteries. The blood pressure varies according to the contraction and relaxation of the heart. In the condition of contraction or systolic phase love sound it is about 120 mm of HD. This is called systolic pressure. In the relaxation or diastolic phase dub sound it is about 80 mm of HD and is called diastolic pressure. The normal blood pressure of man 20 years is 120 slash 80. Fats and anxiety increase the blood pressure. The maximum normal blood pressure should into exceed 150 in males and 140 in females. The blood pressure is measured by sphygma manometer. 5.1b detection of normalcy of heartbeat 5.2 the muscle fibers of heart are specialized at certain parts generate tiny electrical currents which cause the normal heart heats the electrocardiograph ecg is the device to record these electrical changes electrocardiogram is a record of electrical behavior of heart and remains constant in a normal man doctors use the ecg for detection of various heart diseases sometimes the synotrial nodes are node or pacemaker gets damaged and fails to generate cardiac impulses at normal rate it becomes abnormally slow and irregular and ventricles fail to pump the required amount of blood it can be corrected by the surgical grafting of an artificial pacemaker instrument in the chest of the patient this instrument stimulates the heart electrically at regular intervals to maintain the beats lymphatic system the lymphatic system comprises the lymph. Lymphatic capillaries simply lymphatic. Lymphatic vessels and nodes. Lymph serves as the middleman between the blood and organ for exchange of any material. The lymph is the tissue fluid present in the intercellular spaces in the tissues. So it is also called as extracellular fluid. The lymph resembles the blood except that the lymph is devoid of RBCs, blood platelets and some plasma proteins. Lymphatic system runs parallel to the veins. The lymphatic capillaries are present in the form of network on the epithelial surface. The ends of lymphatic capillaries are blind. The lymphatic capillaries unite to form lymphatic vessels and these vessels resemble with the veins. The lymphatic vessels possess the valves which prevent backflow of lymph. Neighboring body muscles help in the flow of lymph. The small lymphatic vessels unite to form large vessels. Larger lymphatic vessels unite to form large ducts that is right lymphatic duct and thoracic duct. Right lymphatic duct opens into right subclavian vein and left thoracic duct open into left subclavian vein. Before the lymph reaches the blood, it always passes through the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are enlargements of the lymphatic vessels. Lymphocytes and other plasma cells are present in the lymph nodes. The lymphus is cleaned or filtered by lymph nodes. These cells also kill the germs and produce antibodies. 5.2 A Functions of Lymph it provides immunity through lymphocytes. Two fats are absorbed through lymph vessels in the intestine. Three, it supplies digested food and oxygen to various parts of the body. I, it helps in removal of waste products like parts of dead cells. V, it returns proteins and excess tissue fluid to the blood from the tissue spaces. Daily practice problems 5. Objective questions. 1. The phenomena known of uptake of water at the expense of energy by the cells and usually against the osmotic gradient is known as A. Active absorption B. Passive absorption C. Osmosis D. Diffusion. 2, 3, 4, ja, 5, 6. Water will be absorbed by root hair when A. Concentration of solutes in the cells sap in high B. Plant in rapidly respiring C. They are separated from soil by a permeable membrane D. Concentration of salts in the soil in high Root cap has no role in water absorption because A. It has no direct connection with the vascular system B. It has no cells containing chloroplasts C. It has no root hairs D. It has loosely arranged cells which of the following is used in measuring transpiration? A. Photometer B. Cobalt chloride paper C. Bell D. None of the above Translocation of salutes primarily takes place through A. Phloem B. Xylem C. Cortex D. Pith A mature human erythrocyte has the typical characteristic of A. A eukaryotic cell B. A prokaryotic cell C. Both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell D. Neither eukaryotic nor prokaryotic cell 7. Removal of calcium from freshly collected blood will A. Result in clotting B. Prevent clotting C. Prevent oxidation of hemoglobin D. Cause hemolysis. 8. In the cardiac cycle, diastole is. 9. A. The number of heartbeats per minute. B. The relaxation period after contraction of the heart. C. The forceful pumping action of the heart. D. The contraction period after relaxation of the heart. One of the difference between blood and lymph is that. A. Blood has RBCs and WBCs while lymph has lymphocytes. B. Blood has RBCs while lymph has no WBCs. C. Blood has WBCs while lymph has RBCs. D. Blood has dissolved organic salts while lymph has no such inorganic salt. 10. Blood vessel carrying blood from lung to heart through A. Pulmonary artery B. Pulmonary vein C. Coronary artery D. None of these. Subjective questions. Fill in the blanks. 1. The series of events which occur during one complete beat of the heart is known as cycle. 2. Depression in the interauricular septum is known as 3. Normal blood pressure is Words jot answer type questions. 1. Write short note on leukocytes. 2. Distinguish between open and closed circulatory system. 3. What is double circulation? 4. Distinguish between arteries and veins. 5. Why a plus blood group is considered as universal recipient? Long answer type questions. 6. Explain the structure of human heart with the help of diagram. 
7. Define cardiac cycle. Explain the changes occurring in heart during cardiac cycle. 8. What is lymph? Explain its important functions. Write about its circulation. 9. Draw a diagram showing how blood in the capillaries, surrounding tissues exchange respiratory gases with cells of the tissues. Label the following on this diagram. I read blood corpuscle to tissue sale cubs 2005, 10. Why is it essential to match the blood groups of the donor and the receiver persons before arranging transfusion of blood? A person tests as universal donor which group of blood will be acceptable to him for receiving blood transfusion? Exertion. 6.1. Excretion. There are various metabolic activities which take place inside the living organisms. All these activities are chemical reactions. As a result in animal body several end products are formed which are of no use to the cells. These are called as wastes. These must be removed from the body for proper functioning of the body. The elimination of these waste nitrogenous products from the body is called as excretion. Waste material is ammonia, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, pigments, salts, digestive wastes, excess of water etc. Ammonia, urea, uric acid are waste nitrogenous products. The excretory produces are both volatile and non-volatile. These are removed from the body by different methods. 6.1. A. Excretion in amoeba. Amoeba is an ammonotelic organism since the principal excretory product is ammonia. Special excretory organelle in amoeba is lacking. CO2 and ammonia are exerted by diffusing its solution through plasma. Membrane. The concentration of ammonia is always higher in amoeba than in the surrounding water. The water enters through plasma membrane by endosmosis. Ammonia is formed in cytoplasm by metabolism. Surplus water enters contractile vacuole. This surplus water can rupture the animal's body. The size of contractile vacuole increases. When the contractile vacuole is fully expanded with water, it moves towards the periphery. As it comes in close contact with the plasma membrane, the contractile vacuole bursts. Thus excess of water surplus water is discharged in the surrounding water. This phenomenon. 6.1. 6.2s of controlling the amount of water in the body is called as osmoregulation b excretion in earthworm in earthworm the excretory organs are nephridia the internal funnel like opening is called as nephrostome the waste material from body cavity coelum enters the nephridium through nephrosome in the inner lining of nephridium the cells absorb useful substances like glucose structure of a typical nephridium a typical nephridium consists of three parts, nephrostome, body and terminal duct. The nephridium communicates with the coelum body cavity through internal nephrostome. Nephrostome is a ciliated funnel which leads into body of nephridium through the neck. The body of nephridium consists of short straight lobe, a long spiral lobe with narrow apical part. Spiral lobe consists of proximal limb and distal limb. Neck of the nephridium leads into proximal part of spiral lobe and terminal duct leaves the proximal limb. The tubule of the neck enters the body of the nephridium and leaves the body as terminal duct. These tubules have ciliated tracts inside. The number of ciliated tracts depends upon the number of coils of the tubules. The terminal duct may open outside by nephridia pore or into the gut, alimentary canal. 6.2. A functioning of nephridium. Nephridia are highly vascular and extract nitrogenous wastes from the blood. The nitrogenous wastes and useful substances. Glucose enter the body of nephridium through internal nephrostome in the fluid form. The cilia present in the tubule beat to move the fluid. Useful substances like glucose are reabsorbed by cells, lining the tubule and is passed into the blood. The remaining waste is discharged into the alimentary canal or to exterior through nephridia pore. According to the position of nephridia in the body of earthworm, nephridia are of three types. I septal nephridia are attached on septa. Nephridia pore is missing. Two integumentary nephridia are attached on inner side of the skin. Nephridia pore is present. 6.3. Three pharyngeal nephridia are present as three pairs of groups of nephridia on both sides of alimentary canal. Nephridia pore is absent. Septal and pharyngeal nephridia are endonephric as these open in the alimentary canal. Integumentary nephridia are ectonephric. Excretion is an adaptation to conserve water. Earthworm is ammonotelic. Excrete ammonia in excretion. Insufficient water while it is ureotelic. Excrete urea on land. Human excretory system. As a result of various metabolic process going on in our body a number of waste products are formed. These have to be eliminated as they are toxic to the body. The waste products include I carbon dioxide which is liberated during respiration and is eliminated by the lungs. Two nitrogenous metabolic wastes such as urea and uric acid produced in the liver from excessive proteins. Three bile pigments. Bile pigments. For example, bilirubin derived by the 6.4 Breaking down of hemoglobin of the erythrocyte. I've excess salts, water and vitamins. Concentration of these substances above the required level is harmful to the body. Elimination of all metabolic nitrogenous wastes from the body is called as excretion. Organs of excretion. I lugs. Carbon dioxide produced by the oxidation of glucose or other food substances in the tissues is removed by the blood. This carbon dioxide is carried to the lungs through the blood vessels veins where it diffuses into the alveoli and out through the respiratory tract. Water vapor in small amount is also exhaled during expiration from the lungs. To skin, substances like soluble food matter, oxygen, water dissolved mineral salts, traces of urea and uric acid diffuse from the thin walls of capillaries into the walls of the sweat glands. Oxygen and food substances are used for metabolic activities of the cells of seed glands but the remaining metabolic wastes are excreted out of the gland through the sweat duct which opens on the surface of the skin through sweat pore. Sweat contains 99% water, traces of urea and uric acid. However, after heavy exercise, lactic acid forms a major constituent of seed. Profuse sweating may lead to sodium deficiency, leading to muscle cramps. An adaptation of prevention of water loss is the impermeability of our skin to water. 
However, in aquatic animals, skin is the major excretory organ. They excrete ammonia through their skin by diffusion as ammonia is highly soluble in water. 6.5. Internal structure of kidney. Ibomans capsule. It is a single cell's thick, double walled cup shaped structure present in the cortex region of the kidney. The cup shaped capsule contains a network of capillaries called glomeruluses. Glomeruluses and Bowman's capsule are together called as renal corpuscle. 2. Proximal convoluted tubule. PCT. It starts after the Bowman's capsule and is greatly twisted. The whole PCT lies in the cortex region. 3. Henel's loop. Henel's loops is a U shaped tubule located in the middle region. It consists of A. A thin walled descending limb in the middle. B. A thick walled ascending limb in the cortex. Henel's. Loop is long in those animals which pass hypotonic urine. I've distal convoluted tubule. The ascending limb continues into the distal convoluted tubule which forms several coils in the cortex. V collecting duct. Collecting tubule receives distal tubules of several uriniferous tubules. Several such tubules unite to form a large 6.6. .6. Collecting duct. The collecting ducts are held together and converge to form a pyramid. The pyramid opens into the pelvis which leads into the ureta. Blood supply to nephrons. Inside the kidney, the renal artery branches into a number of renal arterioles. A branch from a renal arteriole enters each Bowman's capsule, and is called the afferent arteriole. It breaks up into a network of capillaries which reunite to form a referent arteriole. Glomerulus is a mass of network of capillaries in the Bowman's capsule. The afferent arteriole after emerging from the Bowman's capsule runs a short distance and breaks up into a capillary network which surrounds the renal tubule and rejoins to form a vein. By reuniting again and again with other veins of the kidney it forms the renal vein which drains into the posterior vena cover. 6.7 Chemical composition of urine Normal human urine consists of about 95% water and 5% of solid wastes. Besides the normal constituents, certain hormones and medicines like the antibiotic and excess vitamins are passed out with urine. Organic compounds, GML, urea 2.3, creatinine 1.5, uric acid 0.7, ammonia 0.6 inorganic compounds, GML, NACL 19.0, K12.5, H2 so 1.8, and H3 0.6. Normally a man excretes 1000 to 170 milliliters of Urine daily, depending upon the water intake, diet, climate, mental state and physiological condition, tea, coffee, alcohol and other beverages increases the formation of urine. 6.7. A working of nephron. Main function of nephron is to form urine. There are three main process involved in the urine formation. Eglamoyular ultrafiltration. If is the filtration of body fluids and salutes from the blood, out of eglamoyular capillaries into the Bowman's capsule due to the pressure in the glomerulus. All substances from the blood are filtered out except the large protein molecules. This fluid in the glomerular capsule is called as glomerular filtrate. It consists of water, urea, salts, glucose and other plasma salutes. Blood coming out of the efferent arteriole is therefore thick. 2. Tubular reabsorbitin. Glomerular filtrate contains a lot of useful materials like glucose, salts such as that of sodium and water. These substances are reabsorbed from the renal tubule at various levels and in various proportions. Glucose is reabsorbed completely from the proximal convoluted tubule. More than 85% of water is reabsorbed from the proximal, distal and even in collecting tubules. Sodium chloride is reabsorbed in the proximal and distal tubules. Potassium and phosphate is completely reabsorbed from the proximal tubule. Other substances reabsorbed are uric acid, sulfates, vitamin C, amino acids etc. 3. Tubular secretion. This occurs mainly in the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct of the nephron. It is an active, vital process performed by the cells of the cuboidal epithelium lining the tubules which excrete additional wastes from the bloodstream into the filtrate by active transport. In this process substances like potassium, hydrogen, creatinine and certain drugs like phenol, penciling etc. are directly exerted by the tubular cells from the blood. The fluid which now flows through the last parts of the tubule is urine which consists of water, urea, uric acid, mineral ions like sodium, potassium, chlorides, phosphates etc. 6.8. Artificial kidney. In case of loss or damage of one kidney, the other kidney performs the function of both the kidneys and the person can lead a normal life, but the failure of both the kidneys leads to death. Artificial kidney is a dialysis machine which cleans blood of waste products, thus acting like a kidney. The patient's blood is led from the radial artery of the arm through the machine where urea and other salts are removed and pure blood is returned to vein in the same arm. In case of permanent damage to the kidneys, dialysis has to be performed for about 12 hours, twice a week. Patients with chronic kidney failure have been recorded to survive for more than 12 years on dialysis. Nowadays, diseased kidney may be replaced with healthy one by kidney transplantation. To lead a normal life, one healthy kidney is more than enough. Therefore, a healthy person can donate his one kidney to patient who has both kidneys impaired. Daily practice problems 6. Objective questions. 1. Which of the following parts of a kidney contains the lowest concentration of urea? 2. Urine. 3. 4. 5. A. Lot of henal B branches of renal vein C. Bowman's capsule D. Glomerulus. Uriniferous tubules of a kidney are concerned with formation of A. Glucose B. Amino acids C. Hormones. Excretion is removal of A. CO2 B. Harmful and useless ingredients. C. Extra water D. Metabolic waste's main function of kidney is A. Passive absorption B. Ultrafiltration C. Selective reabsorption D. Both B and C. Ammonia is converted into urea in A. Kidney B. Spleen C. Liver D. Nephron 6. Function of loop of henal is A. Conservation of water B. Formation of urine C. Filtration of blood D. Passage of urine 7. Urea is transported through 
D. D. D all. A. R B C's B W B C's all of the above. 8. Major function of contractive vacuole is A. Excretion B. Circulation. C. Plasma. C. Osmoregulation 9. Which one is our accessory excretory organ? D. Above. A. Liver B. Stomach C. Intestine D. Heart. Subjective questions. Very short answer type questions. 1. Name of excretory organs of amoeba. 2. How wastes diffuse out from body of sponge and hydra. 3. Flame cells are excretory organs of which group of animals. 4. Name the major excretory product of human beings. Short answer type questions. 5. What is meant by excretion and osmoregulation? 6. How excretion takes place in amoeba? 7. Draw a diagram of nephron and label its various parts. 8. What is meant by osmoregulation? How it is achieved in different groups of animals? Long answer type questions. 9, 10, 11. Name the excretory organs of earthworm. Draw diagram of human excretory system. Label its pass. Draw a labeled diagram of nephron and explain how urine is formed. Answers. Daily practice problems 4. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ands. B, 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 C, C, B, C, B, D, B. Daily practice problems 5. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ands. A, A, C, A, A, D, B, B, A, B, Daily practice problems 6. Quiz 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ands. B, D, 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 C, A, C, C, A. Respiration. 7.1. Respiration. The sum total of all the vital activities is called as metabolism. Vital. Act IVs refer to all the physiochemical activities of a cell. It has two aspects. I anabolism. It includes metabolic process by which complex cellular compounds are synthesized from simpler compounds that, for example, photosynthesis. 2. Catabolism. It includes metabolic processes by which larger molecules are broken down into simpler molecules, for example respiration. Respiration is an important catabolic process responsible for the production of energy. 7.1. A definition. The process by which assimilated food is oxidized and energy is released is called as respiration. In this process oxygen from air is taken in. This oxygen reacts with food molecules present in the body cells and burn them slowly to release energy. This energy is stored in the form of ATP molecules inside the cell for further use and the waste products that is CO2 and H2O are eliminated out of the body. Food plus oxygen CO2 plus H2O plus energy. It is called as aerobic respiration. Note, the process by which organisms obtain oxygen from environment and release carbon dioxide produced. During oxidation of food to the outer environment is called as breathing. It is a part of respiration. 7.1 B. Difference between breathing and respiration. I. Breathing involves taking in of oxygen and releasing out of carbon dioxide so it is a physical process while respiration is a biochemical process which, along with breathing involves oxidation of food. 2. Breathing involves lungs so it is an organ system level process while respiration besides being at organ system level, also occurs at cellular level. 3. Breathing itself do not release energy while respiration results in the release of energy which is then stored in from of ATP. I breathing is a part of respiration while respiration is not a part of breathing but it involves breathing. 7.1 C types of respiration. I external respiration, exchange of gases between an organism and its environment. 2 internal respiration, exchange of gases between tissue cells and extracellular environment. 3 aerobic, when oxidation of food takes place in presence of molecular oxygen. 7.1 It is called as aerobic respiration. Ive, anaerobic respiration, when oxidation of food material does not require molecular oxygen or it occurs in absence of molecular oxygen, it is called as anaerobic respiration. Food pyruvic acid. D. Respiration. Respiration in divided in three parts. I. Cellular respiration to respiration in plants 3. Respiration in animals. 7.1. E. Respiration plants. In plants exchange of gases takes place from leaves, stems and roots individually. Transfer of respiratory gases from one part to another is very less. Exchange of gases in plants occurs by simple diffusion. I. Respiration in roots. In young roots, the epidermal cells are extended to form root hair. These root hair remain in direct in contact with the air present in between the soil particles. The oxygen from this air enters into the root hairs by simple diffusion and reaches to other cells of root for respiration. In older roots a protective layer of dead cells is present which have tiny openings called as lenticels. Diffusion of oxygen takes place through these pores and carbon dioxide is released out through the same. 2. Respiration in stem. In herbaceous plants, stem have small openings in their epidermal cells called as stomata. The oxygen from air enters through stomata and carbon dioxide is released from the same. In hard and woody stems of big plants and trees, lenticels are present in place of stomata through which exchange of gases takes place. 3. Respiration in leaves. Surface of leaves possess numerous tiny pores called as stomata in their epidermal cells. Exchange of gases takes place through stomata and when CO2 concentration in cell increases stomata opens and CO2 is released out. An experiment to show that plants take oxygen and evolve carbon. Dioxide during respiration. 
Experiment. To demonstrate the plants take oxygen and evolve dioxide during respiration said the apparatus according to figure by taking coin in YouTube. Lie water in two wide mouth bottles. One potted plant. Bell jar and black cloth. During daytime the potted plant is covered with black cloth to check photosynthesis. Make the apparatus airtight and start the aspirator. After some time you will find that the lime water of second bottle turns milky. The explanation for this is that when the water comes out from aspirator, the atmospheric air enters into the apparatus through the second end and passes through the U tube containing caustic potash into the tube containing lime water. The caustic potash absorbs the CO2 of the air. Thus, CO2 free air reaches into lime water so it does not turn milky, if indicates the air does not contain even trace of CO2. When this air reaches into the lime water of second tube through a bell jar having potted plant covered with black cloth to check photosynthesis, it turns milky. It proves that CO2 is evolved during respiration. 7.2. Respiratin in animals. Respiration in animals takes place as a single unit. They have different types of organs for respiration due to which mode of respiration also varies according to the organism but the basic mechanism is same. From phylum protozoa to ctena for respiration is by generally body surface. In phylum platyelminds to nematodes are mostly anaerobic and endoparasites. In phylum anelid the cutaneous membrane occurs and then from phylum arthropoda till mammals various respiratory organs were developed like trachea, gills and lungs. Involved. One surface. Two tracheoles. Three, four, five. Six. Example. Buds. Type. Of. Respiration organs. General body trachea and. Fishes frog. Surface respiration. Sail. Amoeba. Paramecium. Tracheal respiration insects. Branchial respiration gills cutaneous respiration skin. Pulmonary respiration lungs. Amphibians. Reptiles. From. Buccal respiration. Buccal cavity. Some important characteristics of respiratory organs of animals are. They have large surface area to get enough oxygen. They have thin walls for easy diffusion and exchange of gases. They have rich blood supply for transport of respiratory gases. 7.2. Uh, respiration in amoeba. In unicellular organisms like amoeba and in some lower multicellular animals like sponges and cnidarians, respiration or exchange of gases occurs through general body surface as these cells are in direct contact with an aquatic environment so the oxygen dissolved in water diffuses into the cell and brings about oxidation of food. At the same time carbon dioxide released is expelled out of the cell by the same process. 7.2. B. Respiration in earthworm. In organisms like earthworm and leech exchange of gases occur through their skin as their skin is very thin and moist. It is rich in blood supply so the oxygen is absorbed by moist skin of earthworm and is transported to all the cells of body through blood. The carbon dioxide from body cells diffuses into the blood and expelled out through skin. 7.2 C Respiration in fish In fish exchange of gases occurs through gills so the respiration is said to be branchial. Gills are present on both the sides of its head. They are covered by gill covers. During breathing fish takes in water through its mouth and pass it over the gills. The oxygen present in water extracted by gills and water is removed out through gill slits. This oxygen is now absorbed by blood and carried to all parts of the body and at the same time carbon dioxide is released into the blood and comes back to the gills and is expelled out into the surrounding water. Same type or respiratory pattern is followed in some other aquatic organisms like prawns. 7.2 The respiration in grasshopper. In insects there occurs a system of tiny holes and air tubes all over the body. These tiny holes or openings are called as spiracle. This whole system facilitates the exchange of gases and is called as tracheal system. During breathing oxygen of air enters the spiracle and reach to each and every part of grasshopper's body through trachea and tracheoles and carbon dioxide produced during respiration is carried back by trachea and tracheoles to the spiracles and is expelled out of the body of insect. The same mechanism is followed in other insects like house flies, mosquitoes, bees etc. 7.2 E respiration in humans. Human respiratory tract. Eye external nostrils, first part of respiratory system, it opens into nasal cavity and is meant for inhalation of air from outside. To nasal cavity, this cavity is separated from oral cavity by means of a hard and bony palate, it is lined by ciliated columnar epithelial cells that are rich in mucus, it brings about warming, moistening and sterilization of air, it contains hair and mucus which entrap the dust particles. Three internal nares, nasal cavity opens into it and it leads to pharynx. Ive, pharynx, it is a common part between both alimentary canal and respiratory system. V-larynx, it is an enlarged part of trachea which is also called as voice box. It produces voice by passage of air between vocal cords. It contains four different types of cartilages among them a C-shaped thyroid cartilage protruding out in neck region is called Adam's apple V, trachea, also called windpipe. It is 10-12 cm long tube. Its walls are supported by 16 to 20 C-shaped cartilaginous rings which percent them to collapse when air is absent in them. 7 bronchi, trachea is branched into two bronchi left and right each of which enters into the lungs. 8 lungs. These are two lightweight spongy pouches covered by a membrane called pleura. Bronchi are further branched into several bronchioles. At the end of bronchioles alveolar sacs or alveoli are present which are rich in blood capillaries and thin wall. V. Diaphragm. It is a sheet of muscles that lies below the lungs and separates thoracic cavity from abdominal cavity. Mechanism of breathing. It includes 
eye inhalation. When air is breathed in, the diaphragm and muscles attached to the ribs contract due to which there occurs expansion of chest cavity. It results increase in volume of chest cavity thus the air pressure decreases and air from outside rushes into the lungs and alveolar sacs get filled with air containing oxygen. The oxygen present in air diffuses into the blood and CO2 from blood diffuse out into alveolar sac. To exchange between blood and tissues, CO2 is taken by blood and O2 diffuses into tissues. 3. Exhalation. When air is breathed out the diaphragm and muscles attached to ribs relax, which brings about contraction in chest cavity. Its volume gets reduced and CO2 is pushed out from lungs into the air through trachea and nostrils. Daily practice problems 7. 